Quintanilla. You understand the concept of three strikes you're out better than Omar Quintanilla, and he uses it as motivation. The El Paso Socorro product played college baseball at the University of Texas, where he played in two national championship series, winning one in 2002. But he suffered a career-threatening injury colliding into a fellow teammate trying to make a play on a ball hit between short and second back in 2001. All I remember is uh, I, mean, I was playing second base and a uh, ground ball hit up the middle. And, uh, you know, I went uh, head first, diving for it. And um, I ended up colliding with a shortstop, his knee. And as soon as I got up, you know, I went back down. I, you know, I had a concussion and the next thing I remember is waking up in the hospital. The result, double vision in one eye after a horrible collision that left Quintanilla in a hospital with a concussion and a fractured eye socket. There was, um, you know, as soon as the swelling went down from my eye, I, I started seeing double from that eye. Well, I asked God to take that the blurriness away and uh, actually it took about six months for that to go away. Quintanilla bounced back, finishing his career with the Longhorns before getting drafted 33rd overall by the Oakland A's in the first round of the 2003 MLB draft. I got back on the grind and playing ball again. 2005 was a good season for Quintanilla, who was traded from Oakland to the Colorado Rockies, where he made his major league debut, spending the next few seasons bouncing back and forth from the minors to the big leagues. Uh, it was awesome. You know, uh, I played a... Um, you know, with great players like Todd Helton, uh, Holiday, and, you know, Aaron Cook. And when you're there, you don't want to go down. It all came crashing back down to earth in 2010 when Quintanilla was suspended 50 games in August for a positive performance-enhancing drug test, a setback that put his career in jeopardy once again until the Texas Rangers gave him an opportunity in Surprise, Arizona this spring. Omar feels right at home back in the greater Austin area where fans enjoy his hustle good glove work, and surprising pop in his bat. I mean, great facility play, great fans, and, uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a second home to me because, you know, my alma mater, UT, and a lot of great memories there. So, you know, it's fun to come back here and, uh, you know, just play again. To me, it's actually, uh, you know, a new beginning. You know, after all the things that went on last year, you know, I got suspended and I had my arm, uh, surgery in my arm, and... You know, uh, I went into the offseason, uh, you know, just thinking what was going to happen if I would get another opportunity. You know, as soon as uh, Texas called, uh, I was, uh, I told my agent, go ahead. I mean, anything will do right now. I just want to get back and play. Quintanilla knows he's been given another chance by the Texas Rangers organization, which is all he asks. But the message is loud and clear to any aspiring baseball player out there. Omar says, don't ever give up, no matter what the circumstances are. And now that you come down, you get hungry. You, you, I mean, you do anything, go back there, and you work your tail off. Omar is five foot nine, weighing 190 pounds. But what Quintanilla lacks in size, he makes up for with a big heart. He gave a hand in more ways than one to his high school when El Paso Socorro won the Class 5A state baseball championship in 2009, making sure the Bulldogs' hands were covered with Major League batting gloves. I, I got uh, the opportunity to set them batting gloves and uh, wristbands for, this, for the state tournament, and, uh, you know, they ended up winning it, and uh, it was a big deal in El Paso. To all the kids out there, I mean, if your dream is to play in the major leagues, I mean, just first of all, do, do good in school, because if you don't, you won't play, but uh, just work hard and, uh, you know, dreams come true. I got told a lot when I was young that I didn't have a major league body, and, uh, you know, that, that pushed me even more. And who knows, if Quintanilla continues to play good defense and inch his batting average closer to 300, he might have those familiar five letters T-E-X-A-S across his chest once again real soon. That'd be awesome, play for your, uh, your home team state, so be great. Texas, burn orange, and uh, you know, right next door to the Texas Rangers, so I mean, it'd be perfect. Down on the farm in Round Rock, Jeff Power, Rangers Insider.